our first story, and we are going to be talking about good old Nancy. We're talking about Nancy, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. Uh-oh. So, uh, Gunner, if you can, please hit that video. We have asked the president to have a, a special enrollment period for Affordable Care Act for people who do not have insurance now so that they can sign up overwhelmingly. The American people support that. I do wish the president would back off his case in the court uh, because what he's doing is saying to the American people, if they, if they paid attention when he says something like this, that he no longer supports uh, the um, pre-existing condition benefit and he's in court to remove it. Okay. Okay, so first, uh, I do want to give a special shout-out to Gamer for Life 07, Dinosaur Nancy. Please don't insult dinosaurs. When I was a kid, I used to study paleontology. It's it's rude to con- compare dinosaurs <laughs> to Nancy Pelosi. Please don't do that. But real I quick, I mean— will also add in, they protected us from the meteor. Yeah, they did. They did. So uh-huh. let's not let's not disregard their sacrifice, okay? Without them, we would not exist. So uh, let's let's address this real quick about good old Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. She's only talking about the Affordable Care Act. Huh. That's interesting. You know, it's it's not a response to COVID-19. Right now, again, the numbers, they could rise up even higher. But as it stands right now, at least according to all reports, 30 million Americans have filed for unemployment. That means they're no longer on their health insurance policies. And Trump is on a war path towards the Affordable Care Act, which is really Romney Care, which is really something that was created by the Heritage Foundation. So it has Republican origins. So someone needs to advise that to Trump. But here's what we need. Here's what the American people need. Here's what we need to have. And that is single-payer health care, Medicare for all. Can we have that, Nancy? Is that all right? Or does that go up against Oh, I don't know, the company called Cobra, which is a horrible name, by the way. I mean, who calls their organization Cobra after damn G.I. Joe villains? I mean, that's so stupid, but yet that's your alternative. People who are predators call their companies Cobra. Yeah, so again, um, listen, let's be very clear, and I'm just going to keep this very short and simple. The American people right now are being denied quality health care. The rest of the international community has somehow figured it out. The rest of the global community has at least some form of way, Medicare for all, universal health care, single-payer health care, whatever you want to want to call it, they have it. We don't. The Canadians are taking care of their people. The European unions are taking care of their people. And look, there's no such thing as a perfect government. But let's look at how the United States is handling this crisis. We have no social safety net. We don't have anything to take care of our people and people are dying. And Nancy Pelosi's solution is uh, put them on the Affordable Care Act. Absolutely. How, how is that and working for you guys? Kira. You know, what I was going to say is, you know, with someone with extremely amazing eyebrows, you know, I think I have a little space to say, <laughs> like, Nancy's eyebrows are looking like perma frightened in this. So she's, she should check that first of all. Not but covered then, under ACA, though. <laughs> and then basically the messaging right here is like we need to open up this enrollment so people can run as fast as they can to these for-profit insurers and get enrolled so that our our buddies in the you know in the insurance business can make more money you know instead of actually doing something to help people when in, in, in this in this crisis yeah so this is this is the time where i like to point out that the aca as terrible as it is is also based around uh working and getting pay getting most of the burden of this done by your ins- your uh, employer who works through the aca which is very difficult when half the country is out of work right now that's first uh second uh the aca oh yeah uh by the way, does does anyone know did Nancy Pelosi lower the cost so that you can pay I don't know a hundred and twenty dollars a week or less, which is what you're supposed to pay, which is what that twelve hundred dollar check is supposed to last you ten weeks. I mean, let's let's listen. This is again, this is going to kill people. People are going to die because the federal government has not taken action. Now, we can blame the Republicans. We can blame the Democrats. I choose to blame both of them because they're both working together to do nothing. They're both working together to, again, ACA is a Heritage Foundation plan from the 90s. It is Romney care. If Romney was elected president, we would have the same exact bill, except Democrats would be saying little things. Oh, we should have had this little thing that we're not actually going to do. We know Mm -hmm. in both realities what the outcome was going to be. It's going to be people are still uninsured, people still can't afford it, people still choose not to afford it, 
Um, it's still a mess that's selling apart. It's still making the insurance companies money. It's still useless, just like Nancy Pelosi. I think as a final note, again, Americans are dying out there. Uh, Americans are suffering under the risk of COVID-19. A lot of Americans right now have lost their health insurance because their health insurance is, in tied, is basically tied up for them working. So, yeah, we are in such a stagnant-ass backwards country. And I'm sick and tired of seeing this. I'm sick and tired of seeing people with one bad day become homeless. Because that's one of the leading causes of homelessness in this country. Not because someone's just a lazy person. It's because one bad day, they're stuck with a medical ailment, a disease, or a horrible accident. God forbid. Maybe, maybe like, a, like, a, like a virus that's right. like widespread. But, but, but here's the problem. Then there's, you run the risk of losing your home, Something your job, like your livelihood. You lose everything. Fight for Medicare for all. So here's the solution, folks. You're not going to get any kind of uh, rights granted to you by Nancy Pelosi because Nancy Pelosi's solution is simple, collecting large donations from Big Pharma and the health insurance industry. So I'm going to keep saying this until it happens. Strike. We don't go back to normal. And don't be afraid of your employers because they say, oh, well, they're not showing up to work. Hey, guys, we're in the midst of a horrible pandemic, and we are not out of the woods yet. And yes, we are in the economic depression. So Nancy Pelosi, you're mediocre. You're too little too late. And if you're not going to fight for Medicare for all, then please shut the hell up.